Hello fellow learners, I hope you're all well. So in this video we are going to see how we can access the files on our AWS EC2 instance, how we can upload them there and uh, how we can in a later time if we want we can you know change them, modify them and deploy the new modified version of our application. Uh, the app I'm using here is a main stack app, but you can use any other app and these instructions are going to help you uh, with any kind of app that you want to deploy. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want you to go to the link in the description and download FileZilla like this. And uh, once you have downloaded, as you can see, I've already downloaded it and installed it so i'm not going to do that so once you have uh, downloaded it and installed it you should open it and once it's open click on the site manager that's on the top left corner and click on new site then select sftp from the protocols and uh, you should navigate to your aws console on your AWS console, search for EC2. Okay, if you have already uh, been working on it, you'll see it on the left side. Click on EC2, and then click on running instances. And as you can see, I have only one instance. Click on the instance ID, and uh, this is the IPv4 DNS. You want to copy this by clicking on this icon okay once this is copied come back to filezilla and uh, select the sftp in the protocol section okay from here you want to uh, enter the public dns address that we just copied from our aws console and and then browse the PEM file that uh, we get from AWS when we are creating the EC2 instance. Okay, navigate in your uh, folders and uh, go to this folder where your PEM file is located. Locate it and then open it. Okay, after that, uh, click OK. Then go again to uh, Connection Manager. Okay, just click on the connection that you just created. It will prompt you. Click Yes after that uh, it will you know load the uh, file structure folder structure from aws and this filezilla on the right side you can see all these files they are displayed and they are from your aws console this is the file structure that is already present on your aws console and on the left side these files are your uh, present on your computer okay if you want to change something if you want to upload anything, a uh, code, any new file, you should just drag and drop it onto from your uh, left side to your right side. The left side is your computer, your local folders, and the, on the right side, there is your uh, server side. Okay, like this. And uh, you can also directly edit these files uh, by right clicking and uh, clicking on edit here once you click on that it will take you to your uh, uh, code editor and uh, there you can edit the file once you have edited save it and close the file it will uh, it's so easy to just you know edit this like this you can edit it i want to change this line i uh, edit it and then i save it and uh, I close it, it will ask me if I want to overwrite and uh, delete the local file. Just click yes and uh, done. Uh, that's it for this part of the tutorial. If you want to see how we can uh, set up an EC2 instance or access it through SSH uh, via our command line and run different uh, tasks. For example, uh, you want to install something on your server and the initial setup, whatever you want, just comment down below. If you find anything, uh, any problem in this tutorial, or if you have any suggestions for me, just uh, comment it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. It means a lot to me. And goodbye.